Hi friends and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to work with roll-up fields in Power Apps or Dynamics 365 so that you can do something like this. Here on an account record within Dynamics 365, I've got total opportunities. And this is a sum of all of the opportunities or potential sales for this particular account. Now I'm using Dynamics 365, the sales app, just because it's easy. Don't worry if you don't know anything about Dynamics 365. All of this data sits in Dataverse. So any type of app that sits on top of Dataverse, things like a model-driven power app or a Canvas app, it's all going to work exactly the same. I'm just using Dynamics 365 because we have the UI built out, I have sample data, and so on. All right, so just a quick overview of the different pieces behind the scenes here. We've got accounts. I do have a bunch of sample data here if I come into all accounts. These basically represent companies. And then we've also got opportunities, and these are potential sales. So if I toggle over to all opportunities, you'll see that there's a lot here. And each opportunity is associated with a potential customer or an account. So if I were to sort these, you'll see that some customers have multiple opportunities. And even though you can see the estimated revenue over here, and you could do a quick tally in your head of what that might come out to, it would be really nice if we could just see that on the Blue Yonder account, like I showed you just a minute ago, where that is being summed up for us. And that's the perfect use case for a roll-up field. So let me show you how I created this. I'm going to come into make.powerapps.com. I do have another video that I'll link above to show you how to get started with all of this customization work. But I'll kind of zip through things here. I'm going to add an existing table and pull in the account. Again, these are basically companies. I'll pull that into what's called my solution so that I can edit it and add that new rollup field. If I expand that table and come into columns, I obviously created a column already because we saw that it was all working and done. I created this one here, total opportunities. There are some other columns as well that help with doing things like foreign currency conversion when the field was last updated and so forth. But this is the one that I created. But I want to start from scratch so you can see exactly what I did. So I'll add a new column. I'll just add a different name to it. This one I'll call demo total opportunities. And for data type, this is going to be a currency. And then down here, you'll want to make sure you add, and you've got options for either roll-up or calculation. I do have another video for calculated fields, so check that out if you're interested. But this one is about roll-up fields, where you are rolling up either summing or some other sort of aggregation on another field or entity. Now, before you get the editor available, you do need to save the changes to the current table. So we'll save. And then you should get a pop-up that will allow you to edit this field. If you don't see this, you might have a pop-up blocker on. So make sure you check that. I've said that pop-ups are okay from this site, but let me just show you how you would get back to this if your pop-up blocker blocked it the first time. So let's just pretend that this one didn't work the first time. I would come back here and find that column that I just created. Mine was demo total opportunities. So just click on that. And then over here, you can say open roll up and that'll open up that pop up for you. There we go. All right, so here's where you enter all the details for this. So the source entity is going to be the account that's filled in automatically because that's where we created the field. The field is going to appear on the account table or entity. And then the related entity, we were going to be pulling opportunities. Remember, that's our related entity. And within opportunities, we're going to be looking at the estimated revenue. So add related entity. And then scroll down to find opportunity. And you want the one that says opportunities and then in parentheses account. So opportunities are related to lots of different tables or entities. And this parenthetical here is basically saying this is the one that you want because it's related to account, which was our source entity. So it's that top one on the list probably for you. Select that and then hit the check mark over here. If you don't see the check mark, you might need to scroll over just a little bit depending on the size of your window. All right. Now filters are optional, but you could add some kind of a condition here. 
Maybe you only want to look at things that are estimated to close this year. So you don't want to count estimated revenue if it falls next year, for example. So you could do something like estimated close date is less than, say, December 31st of this year, something like that. Again, these are optional. I'm just going to X out of this and skip the filters. But we do need the aggregation. And here's where you're going to sum up the different opportunity estimated revenue amounts. So add aggregation. There's different functions here. So you can do sum, min, max, or average. We're going to be doing sum. And we want the estimated revenue from the opportunities. So select that, EST, revenue. Click your check mark. And that's it. You should be good to go. So save and close. And we're done editing that roll-up column. But before we can see this on the user interface, we need to go add it to a form. Again, I've got other videos for this if you're interested. But here I'm going to click into forms, open up the account form, which is the main form for this particular table. I'll zoom in just a little bit down here at the bottom. I did add this section previously for opportunities. And this is the field that I created earlier that you saw on the UI. So I'm just going to drop in that new demo field right below this. To do that, come up to the Add Form Field button. And then let's find that demo total opportunities. Here we go. You don't want the base. That, again, is used for currency conversion. So grab the one that doesn't say base. And you can just drag it over, drop it right here till you get that arrow in line. Drop it just below there. And then very importantly, you need to save and publish this. That's what's going to push this out to the database so other users can see it. You can either save separately and then publish, or if you just publish, that'll do the save as well. So I'll hit that. And after that completes, you should be able to come back to the end user UI here. I'm already in the blue yonder airlines record, so I'll refresh that. And now if we scroll down, you'll see this is the one that I had there previously. I don't have any data for this one, though. So you might be wondering what's up with that. If you come over here and click on the little calculator icon, that'll give you the option to recalculate. So by default, these only get calculated every 12 hours. And so if you've added a new opportunity or you've just added the field brand new, then you'll need to hit recalculate. And you'll see that I'm coming up with the same amount, which we would expect. So just to summarize, this is pulling from opportunities. If I click on that over here, and toggle to all opportunities. And I'll sort by A to Z. Blue Yonder Airlines, we had these four opportunities here and estimated revenue over here. That's all being summed up into that new roll up field, which again is about $15.5 million. So that's it. That's how to work with roll up fields in Dataverse which you can then pull into Dynamics 365 or into another Power Apps app. If you found this helpful, you might also enjoy other videos from my playlist, so check those out. And thanks so much for watching.